All right, I told uh, somebody online that I would uh, make a video with a little bit more detail on uh, rolling a cigar, quickie, a free roll cigar, kind of old world, uh, like the original Cubans when they were good. And um, I, I, this is not a tutorial. This is not for people that actually want to roll cigars, although it'll kind of give you some of the basics, but I'm not teaching anybody how to roll a cigar. It's just... Um, giving a little bit more detail for people that smoke cigars, how the construction of them and how they're made. And to learn this style too, which is uh, uh, kind of how cigars were made for hundreds of years before they really got industrialized. Even in the hand-rolled cigars in Cuba and Central America, uh, they use a lot of machines now. So this is kind of how they were made for uh, centuries. And I'm making a quickie uh, hand-rolled. I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about what I'm doing. So I'm going to use um, four and a half, five leaves of tobacco, different type. I'm not going to get too much into blending because that's a whole complicated advanced thing. And I've got some scrap here that I'm going to use. This is all long scrap. It's not, you know, chopped up little dust pieces like you find in really cheap cigars. These are, you know, long pieces. Um, uh, I'm going to make a long filler uh, Cuban style old world cigar. So uh, I'm going to start with um, my binder. This is uh, get a good one here for you to look at. This is basically the leaf that uh, holds the whole thing together. It's the it's the inside wrap. So this is a, a leaf of tobacco, just as you would uh, have it if you grew it yourself and you knew how to cure it properly and age it properly and ferment it. Um, it's a leaf. You can see the center vein here. There are some holes. This is one of the reasons that uh, this is binder tobacco. It's the 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 better quality stuff goes to wrap. Uh, so, uh, but this is a good one. It's a good one for binder. And one thing you'll notice is there's always on every tobacco leaf uh, there's a dark side and a lighter side. Um, the dark side always goes to the outside. Uh, of every wrap. The inside, that's because the inside has the veins, the heavier veins, and you always want those on the inside. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, the center vein out, and there's a real fancy way to do this that I know how to do, but it's complicated and it would just confuse people, so I'm just going to separate this. I go and just uh, pull it off of the center vein. And the reason we're taking off the vein for two reasons. First, it's because we're going to wrap a cigar without a big heavy stick in it. And second of all, because you don't want to smoke this uh, center vein. I mean, small when it, where it's thin up in here wouldn't be bad, but it's not good. And it makes it a lot easier to work with the roll. All right, so like I said, we have a, a leaf here. You'll notice towards the outside, the leaves are always bigger than they look. Because towards the outside of the leaf, it always curls uh, like an accordion. It kind of folds. My, camera is collapsing a little bit um, and so you end up with this kind of accordion thing and if you, sometimes you kind of have to rub it to get the leaf to really kind of unwrap and, and when you're wrapping something like you're wrapping a present you don't want it folded over paper and so and again the dark side always goes down because we're going to be rolling and that'll put uh, the light side which has the veins to the inside of the cigar. And I have two sides of a cigar, so they're opposites. So I can roll left-handed or right-handed. I, I can roll both, and you should be able to roll both if you're a roller. And so what I do is kind of look at the leaf and see that big hole. Uh, I want that to be, this one has a hole too. I want that to be kind of covered. And so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna layer these and so basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be wrapping the cigar in two half leaves that are over uh, and what this is going to do is give you a good base good base foundation okay so the next thing I'm going to do that's a binder so I'm going to get my filler leaves and I'm not going to get into blending here because when you get good at this then you can blend it exactly like you want it but I'm just going to get three leaves of different kinds that uh, are going to make up my the filler of the cigar. This is really 
the taste and the quality of the cigar. And I'm going to use some of this scrap too to make it, you know, as thick as I want to make it. And you can make it with less tobacco or more depending on what thickness you are. I'm looking at a 6 inch by 52, 54, even if it's a little, little bit bigger, I don't mind. That's about the size I like. And I'm going to be using what's called the intubato method, which means, and these are called frogs, and you'll see why. At the factory, someone has removed the center stem from about halfway down. And this allows it to stay together, but you don't get that heavy, thick stick. And the smaller stem up here is not bad. It doesn't hurt the cigar. I usually take just a little bit more, just because I want it to be a little bit better than even what they would make at the factory. And what you do is, you want to make sure your dark side is on the outside. And I will roll this into a tube in my hand. That's why it's called intubato. And the reason why is you're thinking about the construction of the cigar. You want air to pass through it. And so, uh, this is why some cheap cigars are so poorly made and you can't draw. You want air to draw through it. So I'm going to take these three and I'm basically going to create a triangle, three tubes. I'm sweating, but it's pretty hot. It's like 96 degrees, so it's almost like Cuba weather. <laughs> and uh, so if I have any real heavy um, tobacco where it's really folded up and kind of accordion, like I said, I'll either pull that off or I will uh, try to unwrap wrap it. I don't want any big thick parts that will burn slower. And so I've created two tubes now here in my hand. I'm holding it very lightly so I don't crush it. Two things you don't want. You don't want to crush the tubes and you don't want to twist. Twisting is the worst because twist closes off that airflow. And there's a bunch of opportunities to twist this as you go and you don't want to do that. All right, so I'm going to remove the bottom, another inch or two of the stem. So now I've got three leaves in a kind of a pyramid shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip off some of the bottom parts because I'm making it to the length that I want. And I'm just fitting this without twisting or crushing these tubes. I open them up in my hand and I'm using my hands and experience to determine how much tobacco I want. So I'm going to take some of this scrap. That's long filler scrap, you know, and use it to fill in. I'll rotate this without twisting so that I have some gaps here I can fill. And when I get it to about where I want it, I got it lined up. I haven't twisted it or crushed it. I lay it on my uh, binder. And I, my binder is running here at an angle so that the veins that are on the cigar are running uh, horizontal across my, my board. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rolling, but I have to make sure I roll this all together. If I roll from this end, it'll twist as I'm running. I want it all, the whole thing to roll together, and I'm making it tighter and rolling it together so those tubes are still open. And then as I go, I can spread this out to make sure it's not too bunched up. When I get towards the end, if I was putting this in a press, I wouldn't even worry about this, but I'm not going to press this. I'm, this is going to be like an old school Cuban cigar. Get a little bit of, this is pectin, but they sometimes they use an, a type of tree gum, but it's a totally vegetative uh, product, vegetable product that is, doesn't have any scent or anything like that. And I'm going to roll this out. And basically, as I'm rolling and I'm feeling it, to see, I'm shaking the camera, <laughs> feeling it to see if the, it needs to be smoothed out. If there's areas that are empty or... All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to feel to the end here where I want to put my cap, the part that's going to go in my mouth. I save this. This is good long filler stuff. The small pieces I throw in a bucket and I use that for pipe tobacco. Now I've got my tip here. And what I'm going to do is carefully, so that I don't cut my finger off, I'm going to kind of shape this end. I'm not going to be doing an end cap. I'm going to be doing a uh, curly head. 
but I want this shape to be kind of shaped, you know, kind of crowned. All right, so that's my basic cigar that's in my binder. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to pull out my wrapper. Leaf. This is the exact same tobacco. It's a, a, a better grade, and so it's wrapper leaf. And what I've done is, a couple of hours ago, I sprayed this up very finely with some water. Uh, very finely. I don't want it to be wet. I want it to be pli pliable, moist. And uh, not even moist. Yeah, moist. These are big leaves. These, this is a half leaf. And so this leaf, when it was on the plant, was huge. And it's been aged. And this you'll see there's aren't any, really any holes. There may be a teeny one there that I can work with. And I can actually make two cigars with this one wrapper. This is the other half. It'll go back in the bag. I use the bag to create humidity so that this uh, is stretchy. It makes it pliable. All right. And I, like I said, I don't want it too wet. So if there's too much dampness, I'll, I'll pat it. I just want it moist and pliable. All right. So there's a dark side and a lighter side. I don't know if you can see that. And you can see the veins. And those veins um, are thicker towards where the stem used to be. And they are lighter out here on the edge, thinner out on the edge. And the edge of the, of the tobacco leaf always curls towards the dark side. Alright? So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of stretching it out and getting it to where I can cut the edge off. And what I want, I want my cigar, especially this one, I'm, I'm if I knew I was getting two cigars out of this, I would cut this in such a way where I would get two pretty equal cigars out of it. I'm not doing that right now, even though I might end up using this for two cigars. And so remember the heavier veins are on the inside, and I have my veins perfectly horizontal with me uh, and with the, the, the board. And uh, that's so that when I roll it, they're going to be the perfect, they go the length of the cigar, not wrapped around it. And what I want to do is get rid of this outside edge because it is natural and it's not a perfect line. And so what I want it to do is disappear. I want that edge to disappear when I'm wrapping the cigar. So what I do is I take my chavetta, very sharp knife, I very carefully stretch and cut just the, close to the edge in a way that gives me a line that is uh, good and smooth. All right, and then I'll stretch it and look at it and see if I got any little jagged edges. Now I'm going to take off the inside edge because that's where the heaviest veins are, and that. If I was just rolling a quick one, I wouldn't worry about it too much. But what I want to do is make this one a little prettier, like a nice Cuban cigar. And so sometimes I'll cut off this end piece. I make all this goes into another cigar. And then I'm going to cut off this bottom edge. There's two reasons to do this. To get rid of the heaviest, thickest part, uh, thickest veins, and also to make sure that I don't have a tear or a hole near the edge that's going to rip while I'm rolling. Okay, so now I have this kind of this shape, and I put it down on my table, and now I'm going to roll my cigar from this way up. And what that's going to do is it's going to tighten it around the cigar and make it perfect. So I have this end, that's crown, that's going to go in my mouth, and this rough end is the end that you're going to light. The end that you're going to light goes down, and what I want to do is get this smoothed, and then tuck it under on the end and I'm stretching the cigar leaf, the wrapper leaf as I roll so that it makes it nice and smooth I'm feeling the cigar with my finger so that I can find any areas that need to be compressed a little more if there's any lumpies and um, keeping the good pressure without ripping and this is what takes a lot of experience without ripping the tobacco. And as I do this, I'll look back over the cigar, make sure I didn't get any folded up areas, and if I do, I'll roll it back just a little bit and uh, make sure it's tight. When I get up towards the end, when I'm an inch to a half inch from the end, I get some of my 
glue my pectin and I rub it there and this is going to kind of glue this closed make sure it doesn't come unravel uh, I don't put very much just slightly and when I get to the end I'm going to pinch this off with my fingers and roll and this is going to make my uh, it's a little curly head I'm going to cut that off when I smoke it anyway you know the nice cigars that you buy for ten twenty dollars a stick at the store this is what I have left I could do another cigar with that uh, they uh, they have the nice end cap triple cap I do those too on some cigars but there it's, it's totally for tourists I mean it's for the looks and the aesthetics it has nothing to do with the smoking of the cigar now what I'll do is just go through and see if I have any places that are uh, unsmooth or wrinkled rub it a little bit and this is all free hand free roll and the press makes them all identical so if I wanted all of them to be 50 ring gauge by 6 inches or whatever and I don't mind how much I cut off here because it's all going to get re-smoked or get smoked eventually and so uh, this is just for one for me to smoke it's not a professional deal I'll pull off the biggest pieces because I'm going to put those in another cigar and the rest of those go into my pipe tobacco if I have any little loose edges that didn't cut well I'll uh, trim those with the chavetta so good cigar very nice smooth about as good as you could get this cigar would be easily ten twenty dollars depending on if you had a really nice box with a nice label on it nice band nice triple cap but for me I take this cut my end off and I'm good to go draws perfectly perfect amount of air draw it's a nice cigar all right hope that it worked out bye